This is Chris Titus and today I'm going to teach you how to do Linux on Windows. And Basically it's a subsystem so it's not actually a virtual machine this time around. Uh, it's great for running uh, custom programs and being able to just jump right in and run or do a GitHub and a compile of a whole bunch of different projects out there without actually having to boot into the VM or, or a you know, dual boot into the actual Ubuntu or another Linux distro. So today um, I've created a little script and I'll actually put this in the description and you can easily just uh, copy and paste this in your PowerShell and it'll just pretty much do it all for you but I'm gonna go ahead and show you real fast. Right click on the Windows and mine says command prompt admin, yours may say PowerShell admin, it just depends on how you set up your Windows. If it does do command prompt go ahead and launch it as admin and then do PowerShell and we're gonna go ahead and do it there and I'm just gonna take this little script I wrote and paste this in and what this does is it goes to the home directory first it enables a Windows optional feature called uh, the subsystem for Linux it's not again it's not a virtual machine it's just a subsystem so it will accept Linux commands um, and then it does a web uh, request, grabs the Ubuntu uh, package from the Microsoft Store without actually having to launch the Microsoft Store because I think I've uninstalled it on this machine and uh, just left some of the requirements to do some of the really tricky apps that, you know, this is one of the good ones from Microsoft Store. Most of the other ones are just, yeah, but not to get off on a tangent about the Microsoft Store. I'm not a big fan. Um, anyways, this grabs Ubuntu and downloads it all and then it's going to rename uh, the download package to a zip file and then we're just going to expand the archive. So this shouldn't take too long. Uh, Ubuntu typically is about a gig so not too much further here. All right, there we go. It is finished downloading. Um, I see it had a name, a rename problem here. Let's take a take a peek here and see what happened. And pop back over to PowerShell. All right. So, if we do a directory, boom, Ubuntu zip, and expand that. Ah. All right, and let's go into the Ubuntu directory, directory, and then Ubuntu exe. And then from here, it's going to install Ubuntu, and uh, I'll show you after it finishes. Okay, that went a bit faster than I anticipated, so let's go ahead. New Unix num name, we'll do administrator, password, sure. All right. And that is it. We are in Ubuntu right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.